May is the official month for Air Force Fitness, so this month's theme, sports nutrition. Our topic this week, Q&A about supplements. Let's do this. I'm Danny Lebovitz, a registered dietitian, nutritionist, and fitness enthusiast who loves to eat. Welcome to Danny's Delicious Dish, where we get serious about food, fitness, and living better. Food brings people together, it nourishes our bodies, and influences how we learn, grow, and heal. We're going to take you from the classroom, to the gym, to the market, to the kitchen. I get questions all the time about supplements and ergogenic aids for exercise. Here are a few of your most burning questions answered. Question 1. What are dietary supplements and are they even safe? The legal definition of a supplement is a vitamin, mineral, herb, botanical, amino acid, metabolite, constituent, extract, or a combination of any of these ingredients. Now those are a lot of words you don't hear every day, but here's what's covered. The Dietary Supplements Health and Education Act establishes legal definitions and label guidelines, but does not regulate the safety, effectiveness, or quality of dietary supplements. In addition, supplements are allowed to contain health claims such as calcium helps build strong bones, but not therapeutic claims that diagnose, prevent, or treat illnesses such as calcium restores bone loss. With any supplement, I think it's important for you to first contact your health care provider to be sure that it's safe with your past medical history and the current medications you're on. Question 2. I'm trying to bulk up and my personal trainer told me I should try a protein supplement such as whey protein. What do you think? Great question. There are many factors to consider when determining if you would benefit from a protein supplement. My typical response is that you're probably getting all the protein you need each day from the foods you're already consuming. The issue with taking an added protein supplement is it increases your risk for dehydration, it adds strain to your kidney, and you're just making really expensive urine. Research indicates that taking a protein supplement is no more or no less effective than eating actual food when energy is adequate for gaining lean body mass. However, some people find that taking a protein supplement is more convenient with all the grab-and-go options on the market available today. Let's do a little math so I can show you what I mean about people getting all the protein they need each day from the foods they're already eating. Let's take the protein needs of a 200 pound male. What we're gonna do first is divide 200 divided by 2.2 to change the weight into kilograms. So now we have a 90.9 kilogram male. The average male needs 0.8 grams to one gram of protein per kilogram. So his needs for the day would be about 72 to 91 grams of protein. Now let's say that same 200 pound or 90.9 kilogram male was actually a bodybuilder. Well his protein needs would increase. He needs about 1.4 to 1.7 grams per kilogram of protein each day. So that would be about 127 to 155 grams of protein each day. So now let's compare those numbers to what the grams look like in actual food. One ounce of chicken, fish, or meat is about seven grams of protein. Three ounces of chicken is about the size of a deck of cards, and that's about 21 grams. Eight ounces of milk is about eight grams of protein. One egg is about six grams of protein. One ounce of cheese is about five grams of protein. And the average chicken breast is between six to nine ounces or 42 to 63 grams of protein. It really puts your protein needs into perspective. Athletes spend millions of dollars each year on dietary supplements. Understanding the science and effectiveness of these recommendations can help you make better, more informed decisions to improve your performance and health. I'm Danny the Dietitian. Till next time, live deliciously.